Chris Chase 5. <laughs> Alright guys, what's up? It's CIA or Chris here. And today's video consists of my predictions for the first CDL major happening this upcoming weekend. Starting Wednesday, all 12 CDL teams will be competing in the first tournament of the season. This event has a $500,000 prize pool. Alright, but as always, I hope you guys enjoy. Starting things off in elimination round one here, we have the Seattle Surge versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup, I will be calling 3 to 1 in favor of the Florida Mutineers. I'm sorry, Seattle Octane. I'll pour it out for you, my guy. Surge's only win is versus London, and London hasn't won a match. Florida, on the other hand, beat LAG. LAG is better than London. They have lots of losses, but they are to some tough opponents as they have losses to both FaZe and Optic already. Both of these teams currently have 10 CDL points. Florida was also the better team last season, which is why I'm going to have to call this one 3-1 to in favor of the Mutineers. Next up, we have the Toronto Ultra vs. London Royal Ravens. This matchup, I will be calling 3-1 to in favor of Toronto. London has still yet to win a series. Ultra, much like Florida, have lots of losses but have faced some tough opponents. They have losses to FaZe, Optic, and Paris who almost beat FaZe. London did take two maps when they played Surge though, so I think they should be good enough to take one map on the Ultra. Next up in elimination round two, we have the Paris Legion versus the Florida Mutineers. This matchup I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the Paris Legion. Paris has been looking really good. They almost beat FaZe and they beat Florida once already 3-0. Paris will be very fired up after their series versus FaZe. They choked massively in this series. Simp even had a 1v3 on them in this series. Right now, like they are just dominating the early game, but don't count out Simp, don't count him out. The 1v1, the push is in. Oh, what is that? I think he melees on accident or his arms are just too short, but Simp pulls it out. It cannot happen. Oh, beams. Give me more beams. And then you've got tiny baby arms. This will provide them with extra motivation coming into this tournament as they should have won that series. Florida, on the other hand, will want revenge. I believe they will make it a close series and should be able to take two maps and keep it close. Next up, we have the Minnesota Rocker versus the Toronto Ultra. This matchup, I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. Rocker is a sleeper team composed of all former FaZe and NYSL members. Rocker also beat Empire, who were the reigning champs from last season. Toronto recently has been making basic mistakes, and I feel like a struggling Rocker team will take full advantage of this. Next up in winner's round one, we have Optic Chicago versus the New York Subliners. This series I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the New York Subliners. I feel that in this series, Subliners will take both surges. Optic recently has been struggling a lot in this game mode. Subliners will then only have to take one respawn map to win the series. NYSL recently has been playing extremely good, with their only loss being a choke to Empire. Because of their choke, they will have even more motivation coming into the series to beat a top team. Clay will definitely have them fired up. But overall, both these teams have looked very strong and like potential championship contenders for sure. This should be an extremely close series. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Thieves versus the Los Angeles Gorillas. This series I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the LA Thieves. The Thieves will definitely be fired up coming into this match after choking the one seed to Dallas. LAG barely beat Toronto and has already lost to Florida. They will be close maps, but I think the Thieves will win the Battle of LA, and I do not think it will take them more than three maps to do so. Next up in elimination round three, we have Chicago Optic versus the Paris Legion. This matchup I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the Paris Legion. Paris so far this season has looked really strong. They also choked the last time they played a top team, and they will have more motivation in this matchup because of this. When Optic and Paris met earlier in the season, Optic won 3-0. Paris will want revenge on top of having that heartbreaking loss to FaZe recently. Optic once again is a very weak search team. Because of this, I feel like Paris could easily take either two searches or two respawns. Optic is still a strong team, however, and should easily be able to push the series to a map 5. Next up, we have the Los Angeles Gorillas versus the Minnesota Rocker. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of the Minnesota Rocker. This is a strong rocker roster that is coming in this tournament with something to prove. They beat Dallas, but they still have not come into the spotlight as a top tier team. Rocker also has more CDL points than LAG, meaning they have performed better thus far. LAG, however, is not horrible and they should be able to take at least one map. Next up in winners round two, we have the Dallas Empire versus the New York Subliners. This matchup, I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the New York Subliners. Last time this matchup happened, the Subliners choked a 3-0, meaning they will be very fired up the next time this matchup happens. Play will need revenge on his old team. Dallas barely beat London and also lost to Rocker. The Thieves also did not play good versus them. They are good, but not invincible. 
I think they will all be close maps, but the subliners will look to make a statement and prevail over them in a 3-0 fashion. Next up, we have Atlanta Phase vs the LA Thieves. This series, I will be calling 3-0 in favor of Atlanta Phase. Phase currently is still undefeated. They have an insane roster composed of the Tiny Terrors, Celium, and RCs. All of these players are former champs. They will definitely be looking to continue their successful season. Thieves recently choked the 1 seed vs Empire and lost 3-0. They have also made lots of mistakes in their matches. Their most notable win is Rocker, and this is only because they beat Empire. I do not see how they could beat an undefeated team with the roster of this caliber under these circumstances. The Thieves roster is also composed of players that typically hit their best form later in the season. Next up in Elam Round 4, we have the Los Angeles Thieves vs the Paris Legion. This matchup I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. Thieves will be fired up after getting 3 0 by FaZe, meaning they will come out in this series very hot. The Thieves' only losses are to top teams. Paris has also lost to LAG. This is a strong pair team though and I believe they should be good enough to take it to a map 5. Next up we have the Dallas Empire versus the Minnesota Rocker. This series I will be calling 3-0 in favor of the Dallas Empire. Empire will just be coming off a 3-0 loss to NYSL meaning they will be fired up. Empire also lost the first meeting between these two teams this season 3-2. This means coming into this matchup they will have more motivation to beat Rocker now because of this. Empire also claims they played really bad during that series. Rocker is not a bad team, I just don't think they're on the level of Empire. I just don't see them taking any maps here. Next up in Elimination Round 5, we have the LA Thieves versus the Dallas Empire. This series I will be calling 3-2 in favor of the LA Thieves. Thieves lost to Empire in the two teams' first meeting of the season. There he goes. They got fight. Wins it. One versus one now. 25 seconds to go. I'm shot. I'm shot. So he knows on his it. position. M thinks he's going to hunt him. It. He's on it. He's on it. And Crim's got it. He sticks it. And Empire win the map to go up 2-0. This means that coming into this matchup, they'll have more motivation to win. Castro, the Empire owner, was also talking trash about the Thieves on Twitter. Some banter began between Empire and the Thieves after. There was some beefing, and the Thieves will look to shut up Empire in this series. Woo! What a day it has been. And what a way to cap it off is I just received a pretty cryptic tweet from CDL and they said, at Hastrack, Courage, got beef, check your deliveries. And now I just got sent an absolute ton of beef Chinese food to celebrate the Twitter beef that happened. I have to get Twitter roasts more often. Thanks, CDL. But this is still a strong, solid, hot Empire roster coming off a 3-0 win. They will be frying, keep it close, and should be able to force it to a map 5. Next up, in the winner's final, we have the New York Subliners vs Atlanta Phase. This matchup I'll be calling 3-1 in favor of Atlanta Phase. Atlanta Phase at this point is still undefeated. They have a very talented roster filled with a lot of players who took second in champs last season. Last time those players were in a winner's final, they lost. This time, they will definitely be extra fired up as they want that advantage of making it from a winner's final. The subliners, on the other hand, have been playing very good recently, so I think they should be good enough to take at least one map. Next up in the elimination final, we have the New York Subliners versus the LA Thieves. This matchup I will be calling 3-1 in favor of the LA Thieves. NYSL will be coming off a loss to FaZe, and I think it will be hard for them to bounce back that quickly versus a team as good as the Thieves. This is also a more experienced Thieves roster, filled with more established players. Because of this, I feel like the Thieves will be less likely to lose full and make mistakes because of lack of composure. Thieves also won the first meeting between these two teams, but the Subliners are looking better now than they were then. I believe that the Subliners should be able to secure one map against the Thieves this time in my opinion. Last but not least, we have the Major Final, which features Atlanta FaZe versus the Los Angeles Thieves. This matchup I unfortunately will have to call 5-3 in favor of Atlanta FaZe. FaZe at this point is still undefeated. I feel they will come out very strong and will be very motivated to win the first Major of the season. FaZe also lost the last Grand or Major Finals that happened. Even though that was at the end of MW, they will still want and be looking for redemption from that in this series. Thieves also lost to FaZe 3-0 earlier in the weekend. I think they will come out playing better the second time, which is why I'm calling it 5-3. I would like to note one final change to my bracket, which is in the winner's final. I'm changing this from 3-1 phase to 3-0 phase. This is based on the way games have played out thus far. Subliners last time they played a top team choked. FaZe, on the other hand, has made a team choke. I think they will all be close maps, but Subliners will choke their one map that they have an opportunity to beat FaZe on. Now, here are my updated power rankings. At 12th, the London Royal Ravens. At 11th, the Seattle Surge. At 10th, the Florida Mutineers. At 9th, the Los Angeles Gorillas. At 8th, the Toronto Ultra. At 7th, the Minnesota Rocker. At 6th, the Paris Legion. At 5th, the 
Dallas Empire. At fourth, the LA Thieves. At third, the New York Subliners. At second, Optic Chicago. And at first, Atlanta Fays. All right, guys, but well, that's pretty much it for today's video. I'm super excited for this weekend. I really hope the Thieves play good, and I can't wait to see how it all unfolds. It should be a fun time. All right, but as always, let me know what your thoughts are down below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. But until next time, it's been CIA or Chris. Hashtag 100TCIA. Peace.